Yes. Mr. Latin. Me very Latin. Thank you for that. <laughs> very Latin. Now. Tomas stepping it Tomas. up a notch. Yes. <laughs> Tomas, Tomas. Now, well, I used to watch the Wild West show when uh, I was a teenager. A lot of the shows in a big uh, I'm a retired, retired school teacher, surfer, living in Costa Rica. Glad to see you still with us to take care of Tom. Hey, Tom Gorman, I'm glad to see you're still with us and you're out there surfing, brother. Congratulations to you. And now, how is your health situation? I hope is always happy. Greetings from the love of Christ. Thank you, uh, Henry. Do, do not, do not. Uh, thank you from the love of Christ. I like that, Henry. Uh, Henry's in Indonesia, so we got oh, one wow. from Indonesia, yeah, around and, the world, and then we have one from uh, Costa Rica. Well, you know, we got a new a new listener, Paul Abender, a good buddy from Claremont, Florida, writing to ask you. You were in a great thir- third season episode of Mannix called The Playground which also starred beautiful blonde Leslie Parrish. What was it like working with Mike Connors? What did you it think of great. him? It was great. I loved that show. I loved working with him. He was a total gentleman, and it was a joy to have the pleasure of being in his company. And I saw him recently. He got an award on, uh, what's that t- TV station? Um, H- HBO. HBO. Yeah. It was, no, HBO was something else. You said HBO earlier. But uh, you know, he did another thing, too, uh, recently. It was The Big Bang, I think. He did The Big Bang Theory. No, huh. I don't know. Yeah. I, it'll come to me one yeah. of these days, and we'll remember it okay so anyway it's something i wanted to share um with the jean-luc hey jean-luc my friend uh you're not listening i don't think uh, but your friend should call and tell you that i mentioned your name as a, a phone is always out of order i write my question throughout your career what is the movie or series you prefer the series is a centennial it was classic it was written by a magnificent author and i was privileged to play the lead in it now, please, could you phone me? <laughs> I'll try to. And my number is 3301690397246. So if you want to call a number in France, I just gave it to you. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Jean-Luc, I will take this with me, and I'll try to call you. I have a reason for wanting to call you. Now, um, yeah, one of the reasons someone should tell Jean-Luc is uh, she sent me some of the money. I got uh, almost $600 from uh, her, and I just wanted you to be aware of that. So now oh. here's a questionnaire from Valerie. I, I'm, I'm still viewing Centennial. I'm almost uh, through with episode 12 and 13. I'm not in 12 and 13. Uh, good entertainment at this point, but not nearly as enjoyable as your part in the production at the beginning. I love everything. Thank you. Listen, uh, I die after the fifth episode, so you don't have to watch anymore if you don't want to. Um, Maybe you could fill an hour on Thursday's radio show, take uh, us on a walk down memory lane, as you recall this time in your career. I am no James Lipton, but here goes. How did you hear about Centennial? Well, it was a best-selling book by James Mishner. Uh, Was there any other character that you would like to play? Not in Centennial. I was thrilled to have gotten that role. Actually, I wasn't their first choice. Their first choice was Robert Blake. Oh, Ironically, we've been talking about Robert Blake recently. Yeah, yeah, well, he was having some internal affairs with his wife, and uh, that didn't work out. And so I got the role, and I was thrilled to have gotten it. What did you have to do to prepare for the role of Pascanel? Language, physically, spiritually? I had to do all three. Yeah. Yeah. I so can imagine. Yeah. Now I'm going to keep this here. Do me a favor, Eric. Yeah. Tear, tear off the first page. And let me have the let me have it when you let me have the second. Thank you. Thank you buddy. All right. So what we'll do is I'll keep this, and every week, we'll we'll answer some of your questions. Had you ever paddled a canoe prior to doing this part? I bet it was frustrating trying to be, maneuver through that shallow mud pe- puddle of a river, or should I call it a ditch? No, it was a river, and it was very very difficult. Was the water very cold when you were filming? Yes, kneeling in the water must have been knee aching. Yes, yes. What were you? Whatever happened to the Voyager red cap you wore? I have no idea. All right, and that's six of your questions. We'll save the rest yeah. for next week. Oh, is that interesting? Yeah, very interesting stuff. Yeah. Also, Steve uh, Laskowski wrote in uh, saying that his 16-year-old daughter uh, was saw him watching the Wild Wild West and commented on how hot you are. And also, also uh, was uh, Steve was doing a frame by frame on the DVD collection that he just picked up, and was amazed to see that it actually was you doing those stunts on the show. Yes, yeah. Uh, and Lukowski's daughter thought I was a hottie. Thought you were a hottie, yeah. And she's well, he sixteen. Does, he doesn't mention her name, so let me say, Mr. Sikowski's daughter, 
hey, you might be a hottie, baby. Who knows? Send, a, send us a photo. <laughs> <laughs> right, Thanks good. a lot for writing in, Steve. Appreciate yes, it. finally my computer's up and running. I wanted to take a moment to tell you last week's show was wonderful. Dina Martin was great. It was yeah. so nice to have the guests in the studio where you can see them. Oh, that's all oh, we love doing that. You we were full of pep, yes. whatever that means. Yep. I've never done a pep in my life. I don't think you're, you're one have for Have you the ever pep. done pep? I, don't, I stay away from that pep stuff. All right. Yeah. And a delight to watch. I hope that means that things are going well for you. The music was out of this world. That thank you, Tomas. I love more than you know. What a beautiful song. Thursday's rolling around again, but not soon enough for me. Take care and God bless. Love you. Curtis uh, Fogelquist uh, wanted to give you a big shout out. Uh, he remembered that you came to Eugene, Oregon some time ago to sign autographs. He was thrilled to be at that table while you signed for him and uh, reached down and was able to actually touch your hand. You gave him a surprise look. I said, I just wanted to touch you. You gave me a big grin and touched me back. <laughs> it was from Curtis Fogelquist. Ooh, but I didn't tell you that letter we just got was from Mary. Uh oh, Mary. Our Mary, quite contrary. Yeah, well, you know, I haven't heard from Mary today. Mary's out there hiding. She's uh, she's yeah, hiding. Yeah. I talked to her the other night. She oh, was, did you? Yeah, and she wasn't in a good mood. Did I, you apologize? I was no, I was congratulating her. She wrote a letter to Les Moonves, the head of CVS, about getting the Wild West back on, starring my son. It was a lovely letter, and I was congratulating her. But she she had kind of had crabby mode going. All right, let's talk to Ron in uh, Long Island. Hey, Ron, how's it going, buddy? Hey, Ron, where are you? Talk to us, brother. Greetings to the Super Show. How's everyone? Everyone's Ron, good. How are you? Very good. You know, you made mention you give credit to uh, Nick Adams uh, helping you uh, get started in your career. I just saw him. I wanted to place him. He, didn't he play in an episode of Wild Wild West? Yeah, he, play, uh, he, he played in two of them. Yeah, he played a sheriff in one. Then he played a, a gay, um, what do you call it? A, like a prince. Prince, yeah, yeah. another episode. He was wonderful, and he was a, he was a wonderful guy. Hey, we're go. Go ahead. What's up? I thought he was stealing the show from you playing the sheriff. He was really riding you hard. Well, you know, hey, God bless him. He could steal it from me. I love his family, and uh, right now, as you know, I said I'm teaching his uh, working with his uh, grandson. All right, we got to go to commercial. Thanks for the call.